So... about this Darwin test? Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Ah, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kinda feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is gonna be the music of the past once we actually get there? And... Nobody's gonna write it 30 years from now, because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted! You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise, and with their lives defend. <sighs> Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I'd rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. Oh my, would you look at this? 
Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush and dismember. And this one, it just stands there buck naked, as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the Black Lab Tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated Black Lab Techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking. No sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade. Who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goo. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just now? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. Ah, does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio as soon as you reach a floor. I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, BDNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. 
Scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. This place used to be really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? <clears throat> Fading data. Mm, you look so focused, honey. Are you thinking about me? Buzz off, I'm working on my equipment. I hope you're not thinking about that nasty doctor slut. Who? What are you even talking about? Why, Petrov's vulgar and graceless whore, of course. <laughs> you mean Dr. Filatova? I do not care what her name is. 
She better keep away from you, if she knows what's good for her. Falatova will stand trial and be punished for aiding and abetting traitors to the motherland. I knew she was a criminal, sugar. Let's string her up. Oh, it will be fun. I promise. Shut up, you electric sheep. What did you just say, handsome? I said fuck off. You heard me just fine. Oh, I love it when you are angry. Punish me. Man, you are so fucked up. Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them, and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh... I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neural connectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neural connectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like bracelets were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay. There are only seven of those gamma connectors? Vavilov, Karolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filimonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. 